Hi my friends, so today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the assembly of this metal, I almost just dropped, dropped it, this metal deck wagon here on YouTube's only Handyman Zone, and I'm your host today, Dino Pinch, steel mesh deck wagon. Super heavy duty, holds up to a thousand pounds. And it's the four by two deck model. All right, so un unboxing and review of the steel mesh deck wagon. Uh, the box opened, it was packed pretty nice. It had this, uh, this uh, tape around it, this uh, strong uh, strapping, packing straps. And uh, the box opened easy and this came out here, neatly wrapped in plastic. And, uh, it's a I think she got it at like Harbor Freight she likes buying stuff from Harbor Freight <gasps> okay so we got a hardware packet here and okay. and we everything was packed so like it didn't rattle around so I'm pretty impressed that nothing is scratched or anything. It's all packed really nice so far. Oh, look at that instruction booklet. And, uh, okay. Hey, it comes with an owner's manual. And this is the assembly owner's manual. So basically, we, the, Looks like the front axle's assembly is already on. Um, so all we really have to do, I guess, is attach the handle and put the wheels on. Which is actually pretty cool. Because... Um, it is. Oh, it's even, it's even serial numbered, and that's pretty cool. Okay. Alright, so here's... Uh, pneumatic tires and they seem to already have some air in them and that's good and pneumatic just means that it has the air capability of putting air they're not solid rubber tires so let's see if we can figure this out without uh, without the instructions I'm reminded of that little rascal show from back in the day when I was a kid when they put together that fire engine with PD Boy was uh, and the duck was like the engine of it. And remember like Spanky was going along putting the cotter pins in and then like Stymie was coming behind him and taking him out and passing him the wheel and he'd do the next one and put it in and then Stymie would take it out and it was the same wheel all along. I don't know if you guys remember that, but uh, it was the same wheel all along, even though Spanky thought he put like 20 wheels on when he turned around at the end. It was the one wheel that he put on 20 times. Okay, so let's just take a quick reference. They want the washer on the outside. Okay, yeah, it just it's just wheel with the air and the outside washer cotter pin okay. and that's all you really have to do with a cotter pin I mean, if it was an aeroplane or something, if we were working on aviation, I might, uh, I might bend both ears, but this is not an aeroplane. It is a rolling wagon. Okay. And then, cotter pin. So far, so good. Very impressed with the quality of this uh, wagon, both in the shipping and packing is very nice. And assembly seems to be going along quite smoothly up to this point. Okay. There's an electrical outlet on this wall. I, I don't think I need an electric, but okay. um, this is a nice wagon. Oh, I, uh, I said that's just what I need, something yeah. flat. I 
I had that little one with the side. Yeah. Used it for the generator. Right. I saw that before. It's, now, it's, what has uh, happened, I found uh, they were selling at that freight place a uh, uh, wagon for the generator. And I said, well, I have the trash thing that I want to, to uh, pump to clean the uh, pool. Yeah, trash I, pump, yeah. Yeah, and I said, well, maybe I can put it on there. Right. Or either transfer the one to the other, whatever. But yeah. But that thing is heavy. The and, pump. Uh, the pump. Yes. And we clean the pool every year. We go rent the stuff, you know, and yeah. the gardener does it. And so I said, well, two rentals, I bought the machine. <laughs> so I said, well, let me just get the machine since it was on sale. And, it's, uh, a, it's a shame you can't keep that pool empty because uh, uh, mosquitoes, man, right? Do you notice well, that? I throw some pee, uh, you got stuff in there? That stuff in there to keep uh, Good. The mosquitoes down. Good. Ponds, yeah, and I saw a frog too when I yeah, walked past. Frog, yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't know that that's a temporary home. Yeah. I, I, I don't know when I'm going to open that pool because there's a place in there that masonry needs to. Yeah. The last of the assembly washer and a nylon locking nut uh, you see this nut has that blue plastic around the top that's a nylon insert and the purpose of that over a regular nut is when you tight tighten this up that nylon insert keeps it from coming loose Ooh. Not to scratch the paint. The steel deck wagon is assembled. Well, let's test it. It's nice that it's steerable in the front. It seems to go traverse easily over these cobblestones. Now these cobblestones and this house. I mean, horses and wagons were on this back in the day. And these cobblestones probably actually really came over as ballast in a sailing ship back in the 1800s. Maybe like right after the Civil War or something like that. Because that's where all these fuckers, these old money fuckers made their money. It was in the Civil War in the armament industry. So I would think that, uh, all right, we like it. Okay, look at that, it's articulated, rolling wagon that hauls. Okay, so there's an 800 number if there's trouble. Um, it uh, holds over a thousand pounds, has a 90 day warranty. Uh, it has a serial number, so it's all very nice. Okay. All right guys, thanks for watching my little steel mesh deck wagon heavy duty 10 gauge thousand pound four by two uh from harbor freight in camarillo california review uh rate sub and subscribe while you're here we'll talk to you guys soon